Hello guys, it is me, obviously, and I didn't vlog yesterday, I kind of took the day off because I was in college yesterday and to be honest I didn't really feel quite well. I came home and I was like, I had a bit of a summer cake out all day, like a tiny bit anyway, I felt a bit off then, but as soon as I came home, like I felt like really off and I was like really sort of like, I don't know, I felt sick and then I had a, like, like a light headache and I was in bed because I was like, really tired, like I was in bed like much earlier um, and then I had like shivers and, and when I like took the bed cover off I was like really cold and I like very quickly put the bed, the bed cover on and I felt really sort of like rocky for like no reason yesterday but today I woke up and I was expecting to like feel a bit what I felt yesterday but I woke up this morning and I was completely fine so I don't know what happened there. Um, anyway, uh, I've, had that, I've had that before actually where I remember once I came back from holiday and it was like a flight home. As soon as I've flown home and woke up the next day, I woke up the next day like a stomach ache and I didn't know what happened. I thought it was jet lag at first because I, I didn't know like what jet lag ha kind of was. I thought jet lag was when like you just like was ill from like flying on a plane. So I posted on Facebook actually. I posted something like, oh I'm back home now but the jet lag, the jet, the jet lag really is really hitting me. And then someone commented that it actually wasn't jet lag. Like it can't be jet lag because I've flown to like, I don't know, I think I was flying to Spain and obviously Spain has the, the same time zone kind of as here. But I thought jet lag at the time was if you like were flying on a plane and you fell till after it because he was like up in the sky but it's like kind of like nothing like that and jet lag's apparently obviously if you're like feeling a bit confused because you've been travelling to a country with a completely different time zone like America or something like that. Anyway I came home and I thought it was jet lag but then obviously it wasn't and then I was trying to think I was like so why I got this like stomach cake? And I think a combination of flying on an airplane for the first time because that was my first time flying and then obviously I think I must have had a bit of food poisoning as well because I went to this like pub like the night before I was meant to fly home and I had this like nachos and to be honest it didn't taste very nice like the pub was quite I don't know it looked very sort of like dirty on the inside and so I thought it was like food poisoning at first because I had to take nachos and they didn't taste right and they tasted quite stale and the cheese that they use in Spain is kind of like different to here so I had to put it down to food poisoning which I think it was because I researched all the symptoms of food poisoning and all the food poisoning symptoms were stomach ache, shivering, feeling ill and that's exactly what I felt so um, we had to take summer cake for like the evening and I, was, I, had, I had a bit of a nap for like an hour and I woke up and I was like completely sort of like really ill in bed I was like shivering and I had like summer pain and no actually I think the summer pain ended just then I think I just woke up and I was like shivering and just felt really ill and I was like bedridden with just like food poisoning but then I woke up the next day and I was completely fine so I don't know what happened though but I'm um, here now and I'm fine I am happy I'm healthy active um, and I just came home from work today so that's pretty good um, anyway, I got this like HelloFresh parcel um, yesterday. Um, it's from HelloFresh. Remember when I ordered like HelloFresh last week? Well, I decided to order it again today. Which, speaking of, I need to cancel next week's order. <laughs> I have to do just things I've, I feel like I would have like forgot otherwise, so I thought I need to do it well. Some talking to you, to you guys about HelloFresh, but no. Um, but this week's HelloFresh is creamy double mushroom penne pasta with parmesan cheese. Um, so I think I might cook that one tonight actually. Then we have honey and mustard sausage tray bake, which is this picture here. And um, to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to the honey and mustard sausage. It wasn't something I kind of ordered, um, but I forgot to change it. So I'm stuck with honey and mustard sausage tray bake, which I think will be fine, but I don't really like onion or anything like that. So I'll have to try and like be a bit creative with that one. Uh, anyway, it was with roast potatoes and buttery sauce. And the last one is herby burgers and wedges with parsley, tomato, phalam. Oh, you have this thing here. Um, so yeah, that's all the hella fresh stuff which I got today. So tonight I'm cooking the cheap, creamy, double mushroom penne pasta. So I think I'm going to do that right now. Thank you. 
Okay, I am here and I have like mushroom pass so I'm pretty good actually. And I'm sad to talk to like Hello Fresh packages so much. Like really good and you get to have like pastas and other meals as well, so um yeah, oh my god, hi. That look I just gave just then was very much a look. Anyway, I'm trying to go through some boxes right now. I'm trying to clear some stuff out, get rid of some junk because under my bed it's just full of stuff. Which most of it I don't even need, like I just kind of kept um, for like... I don't think there's any reason actually, I think I just kind of kept them. But anyway, I'm trying to clear some stuff out, see what stuff I need to actually kind of use before they go stale or something. Because most of these like, stuff is like food or products, or, like skincare products, which will like, go out all day eventually. Um, including two of these skillets, which I'm um, not sure if they're out of date. I don't think they go out of date. Well, I mean, they can, but not for a good while. Yeah, best before the 23rd of December 2023, so. Imagine our Christmas day down with these rookie things. Um, yeah, the basic, like, rookie things were, it's like, half and half, like, cookie skillet things, so. I know I keep saying I'm gonna cook the cookies, because I remember showing you guys these before, actually, and I was saying, oh, well, I'll cook them and make them, but then I put it back in the box and you get forgot about, so. I wanna make sure these stay out, not put it back in the box. And then I have like hot chocolate mugs as well. Um, so these were from like, I don't know, from Christmas. Like I got a huge like hamper of Christmas stuff and these were in them so I need to make sure these get used as well. Okay, there's no out of date. Oh, best before October 2023. I mean, it's only the fourth now, so maybe it might actually still work. I'm gonna go downstairs and try this thing very soon. Okay, I am here now with my chocolate orange mug, so I'm gonna try and drink out of date hot chocolate, because technically it is kind of out of date, so I'm gonna try and drink it. Tastes pure actually, I have to say. Um, yeah, it tastes actually alright, actually. It doesn't taste stale or anything. I had to say chocolate orange thing, and it actually tastes. Alright-ish. I mean, we've had better, obviously, but it tastes of hot chocolate, so it tastes actually quite nice, actually, I have to say. Let's see, I'm going to drink some hot chocolate, um, eat my cereal, and I'm going to go to bed, so this will be in the end of this vlog now. I've decided. So, um, thanks for watching this vlog. Um, be sure to look out for some more vlogs tomorrow. Um, so yeah, bye.